Hey, what's up, guys? So last night uh, we spent at uh, in Wairika, California, at the Walmart, and it got really, really cold last night. Uh, it got down to about 19 degrees, 19, 20 degrees, which is like really super cold. I don't think I've ever. I think that might be the coldest I've ever been in the, in the camper. Last time I was that cold was when I was in Carson City, Nevada. Uh, really cold one, but. Last night, uh, what did what did we do for um, you know preparations? Pretty much uh, had the Mister the Mister Buddy heater going. Um, I did turn the uh, truck furnace the, the camper furnace on. I just turned it on and I just had the thermostat set to the lowest setting, so 50 degrees. The the uh, furnace did kick on. A couple of times this morning so it did get below that uh, and then the other thing I did was I opened all of the the lines the water line the, the, the sink the sink and the uh, in the in the wet in the wet bath sink I opened them up to purge out the the water pressure so to uh, you know if there if, if there was a chance where it, it froze um, there would be enough air in there for uh, so the water the lines wouldn't freeze. So that's another really important thing to do if you're in really cold weather and you're concerned about um, You know freezing water lines Just go ahead and open up the valves and and uh, release some of the water pressure um, Other than that, you know and then condensation <laughs> so uh, condensation is always a always a real a real bear you know in this cold weather because when the cold and the warm meet you have condensation so uh, it's up in the up in the front in the front cap in front of the mattress just that whole area up there is always a problem so we just we take a just a towel and we just go up there and wipe it down um, usually before we go to bed wipe it down and we get up in the morning wipe it down another you know problem areas are back here in this closet area on this back wall we wipe it down you know, I don't know what it is, but I mean, the Northern Light, this, uh, the carpeting that they have on here, I mean, nothing else condensates in this camper. Like, it's completely, you know, you, you don't have any condensation here. So, I don't quite understand why, you know, I'm getting some condensation in certain areas. Uh, the other thing, too, we leave the, uh, in order to, to, to keep the camper warmer inside at night, we close the bath the wet bath door here we'll keep that closed and that also helps too with when you're running the furnace because the furnace blows you know right basically into the wet bath so when you have this closed it will keep it warmer in here and then the other thing I do at night is I will crack open the vent in the bathroom just a little bit so that that doesn't condensate inside there and that works out really good and then I keep this closed everything is closed I don't open I don't keep any windows or vents open in here because I'm trying to keep the heat I'm trying to keep as much heat in the camper as I can and then uh, and then typically when we get up in the morning that's when we'll we'll start the process of ventilation so and what that's just opening up the roof vent and then uh, a couple of windows will pop open to ventilate if it's really really bad open up open up a couple of windows and turn on the fantastic fan and then that's going to pull air throughout the camper and that will remove um, the condensation buildup on the windows so that's pretty much what we're uh, what we're doing with uh, right now you know in the in the cold weather so the batteries um, right now I'm reading right now I'm at 12 I'm at 12 1 so which that's kind of the danger zone. <laughs> you don't want to go below 12.2. So that's, you know, what I'm experimenting a little bit with right now as far as uh, some of the power needs. Like uh, my laptop is the, is really the big one and some of the lights and stuff. And then this portable cooler refrigerator that I'm using right now, that doesn't really, it hasn't been using much. So I'm really, really happy with, I'm really happy with the performance right now of this uh, truck fridge cooler and I'm going to be keeping you guys updated as the trip unfolds with how this is performing and with the batteries and the solar but as of right now it's uh, it's doing really good 
So I think uh, I think that's all to uh, to report for uh, for right now, guys. So we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep keeping on, keeping you updated. Thank you for watching. Thanks for commenting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.